So I told everybody on Twitch, so I'm going to be telling the people who are going to be viewing this sometime this year on YouTube. I apologize, we did not, uh, well the people on Twitch didn't see it, but you guys will. But um, this is where I truly left off on the live stream. Um, did, well, not really. So, as you can, as the people on YouTube seen, I defeated Tacky. Uh, she was a menace. I edited out, out every little uh, death I did towards Tacky and everything. Used up all the um, revives that I had at the time being. Then I made it back to, uh, made it back here to Zion. We changed up E's outfit and gave her platinum blonde hair like a true K-pop idol. I'll rock this for this only gameplay and then I'll probably switch into a new style uh, later on. But I will not be getting the long, get, getting rid of the long ponytail. So... Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, on the Red Velvet Eve, as I call her, Dub D. Uh, so now I forget exactly what part, I mean, yeah, what sector we're going to go to. Uh, so we're going to have to talk to our good buddy here, Adam, who looks like he wants to procreate with us as much as um, that sounds cool and everything. You have to remember, Eve in a way is an android. At least I'm assuming she's an android. I'm not 100% sure about that. But whatever. Krillin was able to get Android 18 so Adam can have Eve. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right. We left it in the Tetrapod. I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52, after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light, our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but... She seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Eidos, her self-made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Eidos, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? Lily. Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. 
You're right. We need more information. Adam, please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Seems to me like they're starting to discover the truth now of the Mother Sphere. Is she really a uh, grace? An angel and all that? Or is she truly like a sheep? I mean a wolf in sh Something like, you know, the saying. Sheep in wolf clothing or wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, basically a, 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 a psychopath. One thing I want to say though is that just like how I treat it mo mostly every other game like Rise of Ronin. I will be doing all the side quests or mo majority of them before I get to the finale of the game. So when we get to a part saying this is your last chance to like do everything, I will go back before I air the finale and do everything I need to do. That mean Ma, that means just uh, like side quest and everything and side. all that finding people and all that can stuff. Are you okay with that? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right, you can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. All right. Season scavengers get lost in the great desert. But we have a map, now, so that isn't going to happen to us. Wonder what I wanted. Uh, it would have been cooler if uh, if we were able to change Eve's eye color too. But that would have probably that's probably for the second game. Okay, so now we're in the great desert. Of course, now I gotta go find the power. Hmm. It seems as though there's a problem with the power supply. The trouble is that the solar tower is in the middle of that giant sandstorm. Eve, let's look for the sentinels around here. Maybe some of them will cooperate. Okay. <sighs>
Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. Just as I heard, outsider. Hmm. This place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful. Adam, over there. I see someone. What is he doing? Oh, it's Clyde. Well, I'll be damned. Didn't expect him to still be alive. There are some people who would prefer to wander instead of simply joining Zion. They always end up the same way. Well, mostly. That's... I already know what you're gonna say. If it would really make you feel better, you can try talking to him. Hey, you can't be out here like this. An Atiba might find you at any... Uh. What? Why is that so important to you? Hey, can you hear me? Check the tool for manual data. It's not a weapon. Perhaps it's a tool. For gathering, perhaps. It's elastic, but not very strong. And so thin. I'd be surprised if it didn't break.
That's a surprise. Are all angels so insistently talented at everything they do? You're surprised? That's hardly something I'd expect someone sitting in a place like this to say. After the colony extinction took everything away, fishing was really all I had left. Ruined streams in the city, underground reservoirs, barren shores. I wandered all over the place. A trusty fishing rod in tow. Frankly, I think I'd already given up by then. That's... Well, that was practically a lifetime ago. I've been here for a while now. Feast your eyes. Water's clear. Beautiful. The whole world's a dump. I can't think of a better place to spend one's time. Mother Sphere's will be damned. I used to curse everything in sight. But if it was her will that led me to this place, I think I can live with that. You... I see. You've got quite a story. Everybody's got a story, world being how it is. Same for you, right? Now, I'm not one to make assumptions about the future plans of an angel. But come and see me again, if fishing interests you. Anyway. <laughs> now there's a familiar face. Yes. I assume the fishing has been going well, seeing you talk like this. Whatever happens, it is what it is. So long, Clyde. Mm. All right. It wasn't so bad having someone visit the Oasis. Company can be nice. Are you okay? Something needs to be done. The damage is severe. Never mind. That's not important. I actually have a favor to ask of you. Tell me more. The captain thought the great desert sandstorms were an anomaly. Enough to warrant an investigation from our soldiers. Our wasteland storm squad was assigned the mission. From searching the remains of the colony and looking through the archives and the ruins, we found out that it was a malfunction in the terraforming system that left the area barren and covered with sand. There's a tower to the south, uh, but the sandstorm is blocking the view from here. We used the service drones to restart the solar tower, to restart the flow of energy through the system. <coughs> hey, let's get to healing first. Uh, it's all right. We got four service drones and made our way to the control tower. It was foolish of me not to expect some crazy Nutiba to be there. It means that many of those under me were killed, and I barely escaped with my life. Angel, maybe you. The drones we collected before were probably dumped somewhere near the tower. 
Activate all the drones and get the tower up and running again. If you succeed, it will be a great kindness. My companions will finally be able to rest in peace. All right. I'll take care of it. You focus on your injuries. Thank you. Take a look. There might be something useful. This sentinel. Yeah. Looks like one of Mew's. May your memories live on. Forever. <laughs> the service drone. Looks like the body's still intact. 
He said there are four. I hope the rest are still okay. Service drone activated. Detecting nearby facility in need of maintenance. Now beginning operation. Activate. Commence. 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 Facility requiring maintenance detected. Leaving now. Leaving now. Service drone activated. Facility confirmed. Leaving now. Service drone initializing. Complete. Service link created. Nearby facilities now operational.
Revenge for the Sentinels. All right then, let's get back to fixing this tower. is once again being supplied to the camps. They should work again as intended.
The mission has been accomplished, Mew. Hey, Mew? Maybe he went to go and be with them. His old partners. With the storm gone, Mew's last path must have been a peaceful one. May your memories live on forever.